My name is David Gallo. I work at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm the research manu uh, manager for the Transplant Institute. My job is to assist with um, some of the model creations, um, you know, for the different, obviously, departments that I work with, uh, medicine, uh, mainly surgery, um, and help train people um, in different aspects of um, model development for, you know, whatever they're trying to research, whether it's sepsis or trauma, um, hemorrhagic shock, or, you know, subarachnoid hemorrhage, um, they help assist with some of the, that type of work. I, I don't fit the standard, you know, undergrad going to graduate school, going, you know, developing a PhD. It's, it, it is kind of a, a unique situation. And when I was at the University of Pittsburgh, I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Otterbein, who at that, at that time was working with carbon monoxide gas, which seemed to be obviously something very novel and kind of strange to most people who would obviously hear that. Um, that seemed very interesting to me and, and I had started collaborating, my department of surgery was collaborating with um, Dr. Otterbein who worked in the uh, department of pulmonary and I continued to do that work until we actually, you know, came to uh, Boston. Same. Look at this one. Look at this one. I sprinkled this some looks, paprika this on looks this one. Perfect. Yeah, you can see you the see different yeah, regions where, the, where you did the injury. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's crazy. Like I said, I've had very broad, I don't, I'm not exactly pegged into doing one model for very long. You know, that's the interesting part of what I do because we, we have this technology of carbon monoxide, not only the gas, but also there's these chemicals called CO-releasing molecules, which essentially mimic the gas. And so we understand there's obviously multiple models that we can use these this technology in. Um, so my job is to you know, see what the clinical problem is, see if this can you know, apply, see if we can apply the gas or the CR releasing molecules for a, a certain given indication. Um, obviously, to the, the ultimate goal is, can this be used clinically someday? Could this get to the market and obviously be a new drug, a new therapy, um, you know, to be prescribed for people? You know, I've, I've been asked multiple times, you know, why don't you go for your PhD or an MD? And it's not that I don't think it's important, I do, but there's a lot to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still able to learn and I'm still able to, you know, have my own ideas, be able to go to my PI and say, you know, I, I have an idea, can we try this? And, you know, does this sound reasonable? And sometimes we'll sit down and talk about it. Sometimes he says, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And it has to be a group effort. And, you know, everyone has a, even, you know, even me not having a PhD or an MD, you know, has input. And I'm extremely happy with what I do. And still, we're still learning a lot of, um, like I said, the technology of, of using CO and as a therapeutic. You know, we've just kind of touched, you know, really at the beginning. And I think there's going to be a lot that has yet to be discovered and understood. And I hope to continue developing it with like the ultimate goal of having, having it in, in the marketplace and having it, you know, I think there isn't a, probably isn't anything of re, as rewarding as, you know, knowing that I worked on a project that, you know, eventually ended up on, you know, the market and, you know, is something that's maybe helping people live a better, healthier, happier life is, I think, can be very rewarding.